And now, the national anthem for Ukraine. scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Russian Professional Boxing Board, President Yuri Arbachekov, the BDB President Tomas Putz, and the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor at ringside Hussein Huichi. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest will be from Montenegro, Pedro Alexis. From England, John Kane. From Japan, Nobuhito Urutani. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee from Italy, Guido Cavallari. And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world from Olimpinsky, Moscow, Russia, Tommy Gaspada, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black official weight, 109.5 kilograms. A perfect professional record consisting of 21 fights. 21 victories, including 11 knockouts. From Cologne, Germany, the challenger, the undefeated WEC international heavyweight champion, the Diamond Boy, Manuel. Officially weighing 112.5 kilograms. Professional record in 46 fights, 44 victories, including 40 knockouts. From Kiev, Ukraine, the two time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Dr. Iron Hiss, Vitaly.
gentlemen, please remember what I told you in a changing room. Okay? Shake your hand. Good luck. And we are ready to rock and roll. Final words from Fritz Sudunek to Vitali Klitschko. All chums and allies over these long, hard years. 41 and a bit now, Klitschko. Signs of wear and tear against Chisora, but he's still dominating and he's still got the job done. Impressed by Manuel Schart throughout the build-up where he's been confident. And he did not take his eyes off Klitschko for a second in the build-up. Is he good enough? And given his knockout percentage, does he hit hard enough to make Klitschko think? What will be the tactics? Here we go. Cheers of Klitschko, Klitschko ringing around the Olympic indoor arena. And the difference in size already evident. And you can see from the opening section, Manuel Sharp is not looking to get front fruit like Derek Chisora did back in February. That will please Klitschko right from the outset. Back against the ropes. Crowd on their feet already. There you see the speed of hand and foot. Shaw definitely has that advantage. Quite mobile for a heavyweight, despite his size. Has got nice. fast hand, big right hand to the body from Klitschko. He's <laughs> ever having to reach down on his man. for just about the first time in a while at Klitschko angry at one of the press conferences I don't know if that's yeah, you didn't figure on this just a case of incentive wanted to fire himself up motivate himself in the advancing stages of his career as he dabs away with the right hand big right under the elbow a dominant start from Klitschko Again, Char bringing the confidence, allows himself a smile. And he's not doing anything, he's covering up. Already two minutes have gone by. And Char will be happy they've been largely without drama. Klitschko pawing away with the jab. Just the rangefinder for that big downward right. In already working to the body, Klitschko. Stepping in with the right hand. Charting well to cover up. And then you see the fast hands up close. That might be his chance. Closing seconds of the first. Real anticipation in the air. It was pyrotechnics for the ring walks. A big right hand from Klitschko right at the end of the first. And late fireworks at the end of the opening stanza. Well, I wonder if the template has been set. Klitschko front boot, Char looking to avoid the heavy punches and just counter whenever he gets his opportunity. You sense that that'll keep him in the fight. You have to wonder if he's going to win it for him. High guard from Char, his defence was good. And there you see... As ever, Klitschko just stepping back out of range. There was a, a flurry towards the end when both men connected. A little bit of afters. And good to see that the deference with which Char has punctuated the build-up. 
has been thrown out of the water now that things are underway. <laughs> Choppy right downward hand from Klitschko. Of course, there was the early night against Adlania Solis last March. Solis fell awkwardly and was injured. Now, the game for a while. Bar that, Klitschko's done some rounds in the recent years. The explosive knockouts of his early mid career, something off the past. He's having absolutely everything his own way here, though. 1 2. Well, you fancy the charge is going to beckon him in and in. This is Klitschko's fight all night. does bring an unbeaten fighter's confidence into it as he sneaks the left hand through and round the guard of Klitschko. As ever, Klitschko needs a, a little bit of real estate to work those long arms, but he's particularly good with the, the chopping downward right hand. Sharp. Minute left of the second. Playful hook of the right hand, which Klitschko pulled out of. There's no doubt Sharp comes into this in good nick. He's been a Spartan existence and build up for him. He's done away with life's luxuries. It's been an old style rocky build up for him. He's taken himself away out in the wilderness. Very much old school in a bid to prepare himself for what he faces tonight. Can he bring any of that to bear? Both men looking to counter now, towards the end of the second. Let's go with a very quick counter right. He does have one or two of those sneaky punches, Klitschko. And Sharp wings in. Fast punch, he's gone down. I'm not sure if there was a punch there or not. The referee's counting. And Sharp doesn't look too fast, and the end of the bell comes as they touch gloves respectfully again. And I think Shaw was leaning in, trying to throw some punches, and he was counted on the way in. He was arguing that there was a clash of feet. Those stats suggesting that Shaw is connecting with what he's throwing, but the problem is he's just not throwing it up. That was a cuffing shot on the top of the head, wasn't it? You could argue that Char was already on his way down, but no matter. Klitsch goes in charge, and if Char is to take some chances, he might yet be exposed. So a 10-8 round for Klitschko. To add to his early superiority. The fight that was already looking pretty difficult. Be moving beyond the reach of Manuel Schott already. It's not out back in February with the inspired Derek Chisora performance that. Many suspected a template might have been set to beat Klitschko, that perhaps age was beginning to wither. 
would appear that tonight's contest might not be any sort of barometer of that. Expect also that a certain Brit David Hay might be an interested observer. Word is that Jose Sullivan, the WBC, and Hay have kissed and made up. Keen on the big showdown with Vitali. It's the fight that most boxing fans want to see. Left hook gets through from Sharp. Little chink of success. He went to repeat the trick and telegraphed that a bit. As ever, Klitschko quite good at leaning back at a distance. Char just has to be able to bring that speed to the table. He's been through the, the usual American trial horses like Owen Beck and Zach Page. Went 12 distance and when last he was out back in March. Tee up for this one. It was against Talis Pedenko, who was retired in three by European champion Robert Hellenius previously. A form that's a million miles away from title winning for Manuel. Hey. clubbing right to the body from Klitschko again just able to dictate things got control of the range happy with what little Char is able to bring to the table so far right hand both downstairs and round a bit of energy at the bell from Char not enough during the three minutes though well the stats will say what they will the scorecard of 30-26, and the truth is, the template has been set. Klitschko is pretty much in cruise control. Minor successes from Char. When he does throw punches, he's connecting, but they're not having any effect, and there's simply too few of them. to the fourth WBC heavyweight title up for grabs held in the last eight years by Vitaly Klitschko who won it in that family revenge mission over Cody Saunders back in 2004 and largely untroubled since good right to the body from Klitschko if he Needed to slow Shah down. Here's the foundations. Shah off balance. Takes a jab. Now a bit of energy from Klitschko. Well, it's a question of how much ambition has Manuel Shah got. We Talked about his family's hard road to a better life. His journey to this opportunity. The Spartan build up in training to prepare himself for it. He has to, and he's cut. Oh, he's cut badly. Just when things were going from bad to worse. 
Big right hand from Klitschko just whiskers down the nose of Sharp. Blood smearing across Klitschko. Sharp gets through with one or two, but he's out of distance. Back to the body from Sharp. This is a bit more of the ambition his corner perhaps been calling for. Cheers, though, for Klitschko. He's gonna have a, the referee's going to have a look already. He is. Doctor up. Minute of the fourth left. Looks just on the eyebrow. Slightly beyond the vision of the eye. Char is shrugging. Every time the doctor dabs at him, a little trickle of light shaking his head. It's that cupping left hand. It was almost the, the thumb of the glove that caught the eyebrow. And that instant, instant cut means that we have an early night. Manuel Schott is absolutely furious. Klitschko shrugs his shoulders. He wants to fight. And the doctors waved it off. Well, an unsatisfactory ending to what was already looking to be a Vitaly Klitschko dominated contest. And having worked so hard for the opportunity, it's going to end in disappointment for Manuel Schart. Klitschko's wife has uh, been part of the build up, will now be able to enjoy the post fight celebrations. Unsatisfactory, certainly. I'm not sure we were actually going to learn much about Klitschko 2012 through tonight anyway. Klitschko was dominating pretty much as he liked. And he was too good for Shah, and you couldn't have envisaged the pattern of that fight changing in any way anyway. <laughs> Disappointment for Shah <laughs> after the big build-up and the opportunity which you suspect well, perhaps won't raise its head again. Title retained. What next is the obvious question. That told us little about Vitaly Klitschko. What it does do is mean that uh, there's less wear and tear on those older legs. And perhaps David Hay will enter proceedings after all. And there you see the moment in which the referee and doctor came to the conclusion that means we have an early finish to this night. Blood continuing to... You can see it's actually further down the eyelid than I, I thought on that replay. And it was spitting out blood. And you imagine with another seven, eight rounds of that, well, you doubt that Char could have gone. Stony faced on entry. Somewhat dispassionate in celebration. And it's uh, a win that takes Vitaly Klitschko into the mid 40s. Booze for Manuel Char, who's showing the Russian crowd that. He's happy to fight on. He'll have to resurrect a career elsewhere, perhaps away from title contention now. Well, he's making a point symbolically, Sean, isn't he? But you do fancy that you do fancy they could have let him go the round at least let the corner have a look at it see where we end 